customer had just dropped off this uh, BMW GPS module. Customer had ripped the connector, breaking the case. And uh, my guess is he also broke a connector. So let's see if we can fix the connector issue. Let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, main screen where we can see the extent of the damage. And there we have it. We have a cracked shell and it looks like we have a uh, damaged connector. Now the big boss, unfortunately, did not take this thing apart. He uh, took a vacation. He's out on the California beach, getting a suntan and enjoying all the beautiful sex of women. So we're going to have to do uh, most of the work ourselves today, which is not going to be a big problem. We got nothing better to do anyway. So we might as well earn the honest living. Maybe it'll pay off in the long term. And there we have it. Here is our connector. As you can see, the PCB here is cracked. I don't know if this is a multi-layer PCB or not. If it is, most likely going to be a no-fix because uh, there's no way I could restore all of these layers. Basically, what I want to do now is I want to sort of check all the pins and see which trace they are connected to. And that way, we'll be able to tell whether or not they're making their way to the destination according to the layout of the traces on the board. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to be switching to a microscope. It looks like a very serious damage. And by the looks of it, all of the connections are on the back of the board. So let's flip the board over and have a look around. So it looks like the damage happened right alongside of these pins here, which is expected. So what I want to do is I want to check with the multimeter every single pin and see if they make their way wherever it is that they're trying to make their way to. Let's say, so this pin is connected there. This pin's supposed to be connected there, but it doesn't look like it is. Or maybe it's not supposed to be connected there. Now it should be, so you can see, that seems to go here but it doesn't as you can see i don't know why that is so these two are connected okay so i'm guessing the break is actually right there the break is right between the ring and the trace yeah and that makes perfect sense because the exact same thing happened over here so if you can see this uh northridge fix scope is uh, complete junk so i can't really give you the best viewing experience here but if you can see this ring here is part of the same trace that goes over here. And you can see that the ring, it starts to get ripped and starts to separate almost. Whereas here, it's a little bit more evident right there. So there's a ring and there's a trace. So in here, that ring is broken off the trace. And the same thing here. And this one is, this one's fine. So we need to check and restore the connection between here and that point there, since we have no continuity. We most likely have no continuity here. We're probably going to have continuity here because it's a big pad and there's a big trace and uh, possible damage here. All of that need to be restored. So looks like this side here is probably okay. We'll check that. This one was about to get ripped as well, but I think it's intact. First thing what I want to do is probably get this port out of the way so that we can possibly get this corner uh, straightened out to some degree. So what we want to do is probably put this thing on the stand. It's easier to work with and that way I don't end up with the thermal paste all over on, the, on my workbench. Because my beard is growing so long it'll eventually get to the workbench and it'll get dirty. I don't want my beard to get dirty so that people won't trust me. I need people to trust me, so I keep my beard nice and clean and my hair all goofed up like that. It's all about looks and it's all about the voice. People like the way you look, they like the way you sound, they fall in love and they give you all sorts of stuff like money, women, power, animals, whatever, you name it, anything you want. You have good looks, you have good voice, you'll be rich. Unfortunately, I'm ugly. All right, so let's go over, okay, let's go over here and see if we can uh, remove, I don't want to be damaging these antenna because they're made of plastic, but so is this connector. But I'm sure the connector itself is probably heat resistant to a degree. So let's go ahead and get a little bit closer here. We'll turn on the exhaust. 
and we'll start getting things hot and see if anything starts to melt. Almost there. There we go. And the connector is out. So let's go ahead and wick those holes, make it look nice and clean, just like my beard. Looks like not all the holes got cleared through. So let's, let's go ahead and finish them off from the other side if we can. And all the holes are through and the shore is gone. What I want to do right now is I want to try to bend this PCB, uh, which means I'm going to have to apply a lot of heat and bend it back in place in hopes that I will not cause any more damage than there already is. But, uh, we're going to have to try. So what do we have to lose? If we break it, customer pays for it either way. I'm going to put something heavy over here, maybe here, something that would keep the board from flexing. Maybe I put something here too. Actually, no. Let's remove all that thermal grease and put another block here. And there we have it. So now we have a solid foundation to work on. And now all I got to do is to heat this area and gently flex the board to a point where hopefully we'll get it flat again. Now I'm going to try to fold it and see if it'll retain its flatness to some degree. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than nothing. And there we have it. It's a little better. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So I think we did a good job. Now all we got to do is to solder that connector back onto where it belongs and then make sure that we fix all of the breaking connections. So first what I want to do is I want to inspect these pins, make sure that they're in good shape, that they do not have any excessive solder on them. Then we'll put it back in, make sure everything's aligned like so, and uh, basically start soldering these pins back the way they came right there. So I'm going to go ahead and start soldering the pads that are in a good shape. And then we'll move on to the ones that are in the bad shape. Okay, these pins are done. Now let's work on some of these pins that are bad. I probably also want to address the crack here. I want to make sure that the ground plane is actually traveling all the way across. So we could just scrape away a little bit of that mask and just drop a small blob of starter there. And that should fix the problem. Right there. So we've now fixed that crack. Now let's go ahead and fix these pins here. Like so. And I think this pin here is okay. I think this pin here is okay. This pin here is ripped. And the first pin is ripped as well. Let's go ahead and deal with these pins first or last, whichever way you want to look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape away a little bit of that mask so that we can run a wire. And the same thing here. Okay. Now let's find a uh, correct wire that you can purchase at our online store at northwestrepair.com. But you don't have to if you don't need to. But it's best for everybody if you do. So let's go ahead and solder that wire over there. I'm going to start with the pin on the left. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get it down there in one go. Make sure you tin the trace before you start. And let's go. Right there. I think that looks good. We'll do the exact same thing with the trace on the right. Cut that away. We're going to solder that, that pin. And then we're going to continue on adding a wire. So pin first, wire second. Right there. Okay, now let's clean that up. Now let's make sure that all the pads are making their way across. Let's make sure that all these pins are making their way across the pad. Good here. Good there. And that should be it. And there we have it. The short is gone. The job is done. Big Boss is gone. And we're done. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and assemble this thing together. Uh, build a customer. And uh, thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think about this repair in the comment section below and we'll fix something else in the next one.